talk with you guys about manifestation and this book that Asar had me listen to. I listened to the audio book and it's called The Secret. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this book. I think it was like on Oprah's show and they ended up making a movie behind it. And I just want to kind of talk about some of the things in it that are missing because there's a lot missing from this book and I think that this can help a lot of people who are listening. What is it, what the book is about if you haven't read it? It's talking about how your mind can create your reality and how important it is for you to think positive thoughts in every aspect of your life in order to have the best life experience. But the way that the author presents it is like it's magic and it's like a genie. And as long as you think positive thoughts, nothing but positive things are supposed to happen in your life. And if you ask me, I would tell you that's not true. There are a lot of other forces on this planet that are at work that the elites do not want the sheeple to know about. So the reason why the book, The Secret, became such a bestseller and so many people ended up buying it and buying into the propaganda is simply because it's another form of mind control. It's a way of shifting the blame off of the real people who should be dealing with this stuff and putting it on all of the little individuals, making them think that you're poor because you only think poor thoughts or you were raped because you must have been harboring thoughts of not being raped, or you've been victimized or beaten because you fantasize about being victimized or beaten. And to me, that's just the stupidest thing that anybody could possibly believe. It's just simply not true. Why am I saying that? I'm saying this because these are facts because I've seen it even within my own life and my own incarnation. When you're born, you have a manual that basically controls everything that's going to happen to you within this lifetime. You've come here for a purpose and for a reason. Thinking happy thoughts, being positive will help you get out of bad situations and be able to deal with them more constructively, but they will not stop them from happening to you. Certain things are predestined and preordained, and they're just going to happen whether you're happy or not. Okay, That's just the way it is. Once you get into astrology, you will learn this. And once you learn this, it frees you from feeling bad when things don't go your way. Feeling like you did something wrong. Maybe I should have tried harder. Maybe I was too hard on myself. Because you realize these are things that are predestined that are just going to happen. I'll give you an example. I know me and my own life. I remember when I had my first in-depth astrology reading done on myself. And these readings were so deep that it went way back into my childhood. And things that I dealt with that I never told anybody about, this reading was able to pick it up. It told me that I was going to have an absent father in my life, which that's exactly what happened. It told me that my mother was going to give me very little love or support. That's exactly what happened in my life. And that freed me right there because I kept trying to figure out, you know, what was wrong with me? Why am I? I'm trying to be a good girl. I'm trying to do the right thing. And for some reason, this woman just did not treat me the way she treated these other children. Well, in my astrology reading, all this stuff came up. So when I was able to read that, it just freed me from a lifetime of just sadness and regret and depression. And it helped me to move on and realize, look, it's not me. This is just the cards that I've been dealt with in this time period. And I've seen this even with other people in their lives. And they're like, wow, I can't believe you're able to tell me all this stuff based off of astrology. So again, you have forces on this planet that predestines certain things within your lifetime. Some people can dream about winning a lottery forever and they never will. And they wonder, well, how come the law of attraction isn't working for me? It's not that the law of attraction isn't working. It's just that it's not applicable within this lifetime. In your lifetime, you may not be destined to be a millionaire. You may not be destined to be rich or famous or be like Oprah or Jay-Z. Based on that book, The Secret, it leads you to believe that if you focus on something long enough, regardless of what it is, it must come to you. And that's just simply, again, not true. If that were true, all these young kids who sit around day and night watching these superstars, watching rappers...
But they don't. Do you know how many people want to be a superstar, be a movie star, and they go to Hollywood and they put everything they have into doing this? Based on her book, they should definitely be a superstar, but they don't become a superstar. So the thing is, you have to be careful because they know that we're going into higher levels of energy. They know people are going to be looking for the truth. When I say they, I mean the establishment, the controllers of this planet. They know that humanity is destined to wake up. And so they're putting a lot of fluff out there, a lot of lies and half truths and putting it out as, oh, this is something that they've known from the beginning of time and got these silly people buying up books and listening to gurus and running to conferences. And they're not giving you the full scope of what you're living in. And I think it's very important that right now, you know, the truth that you understand and overstand what you've incarnated into and have all the tools in your arsenal so that you're able to live the best possible life while you're here. And that best life for you may not be in a mansion. Okay. It may not be living like Bill Gates. That may not be in the cards for you because your soul is here for a reason to learn certain things. This is like a school and everybody has a different role that they have to play. Positive thoughts again, can help you as far as keeping you in sound mental health. It can give you better life experiences where you're able to see the glass half full instead of half empty. For example, you get in a car accident. If you have a positive mindset, you're like, okay, well, thank goodness I did not die in this car accident. Versus if you had a negative mindset, you think, man, I'm just full of bad luck. Nothing but bad things ever happened to me. That's the difference. But it did not make you avoid having the car accident. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get everybody to understand. So when you're looking at things like the secret, you have to realize that the establishment will never give you the full story. When people pop up and they try to tell people the truth, what typically happens is they're either assassinated, they're blacklisted, or they're silenced to the point where nobody's listening to them anyway. So they don't care what they say. All right, that's just the truth of the matter. This planet was taken over a very long time ago by a hostile group who does not care about humanity. All they care about is world domination and getting as much wealth and money as they can accumulate at our expense. So they look at humanity basically as slaves, as sex slaves, as entertainment, and as robots. That's just the truth. They do not care about you. You have to care about you. And that's the reason why your ancestors did not only have positive thoughts, they had sigils, they had omens, they had amulets, they had used the forces of nature. They worked with spirit forces. They did a lot of different things to keep themselves safe. And they did not fall until they stopped doing those things. Once they walked away from the ancient way and they went into all these organized religions, that's how they were conquered and taken over. So if you really want the secret of life, life starts with you and learning who you are, why you're here, why you incarnated. That's how you find the true secret to living your best possible life. Not just buying some books and some feel good stuff to make you think that it's just all based on your thoughts because I can guarantee you it is not. You have a whole lot of forces here that's working against you. Some that you don't even realize that are working against you. It's time now for us to grow up, to open our eyes, open our ears, open our minds and begin to get right knowledge and overstanding. Not just the fluffy stuff that they're putting out there for the masses to consume knowing they're only going to get so far off of that because there's a lot more stuff that you have to learn. That's why we created the mystery school to begin to teach our initiates the truth about what they're living in, how to function, 
again, it starts with knowing yourself. Know thyself. You have to first figure out who you are and why you're here. That's why we have so many readings that we offer. We got past life readings, karmic readings. We have in-depth astrology readings, numerology readings, tarot readings. We had a kitten that we got. And before we bought the kitten, we did a tarot draw. And the card came up showing that it was going to be a very bad situation. Something was going to happen outside of our control and there was no way to stop it. And I told my daughters before they got this little kitten that this is what the cards are saying. But they just wanted this kitten. And sure enough, we had the kitten probably about two or three weeks. And we woke up one morning and the kitten was lying dead on the floor. And my daughter immediately said, oh my God, that was the tarot card you drew. And I said, yes, I warned you, but you wanted the cat anyway. So they were wondering, how could your cards know all these things, mom? And I told them, I said, it's because they're forces of nature that are at play. And these cards are a tool of divination that helps us to see further in time. That's what they're designed to do. The cards never lie. They always tell the truth. People just don't want to hear the truth anymore. They have itching ears and they want to be lied to and they want to feel good and they want to think that nothing bad will ever happen to them. And that's not the way it works. The pendulum must swing both ways, especially when you're talking about manifestation. So again, if you want to begin to learn the truth, you want to know more about our reality, you're tired of being lied to, you know there's so much more to this life than just thinking a happy thought and being positive 24-7. Because guess what? Newsflash, that ain't going to happen. It's too much stuff that's going on to just keep you constantly in positivity. So obviously there's something else that's missing, just like when you were in religion. You knew something was missing out of that book. You knew Pastor Porkchop was not giving you the full story. You just didn't know what was missing. Well, it's the same thing with this spirituality, this fake commercialized spirituality that they're pumping out to the masses. They're never going to give you the full scope. They're never going to give you the truth because knowledge is power. And if they told you the truth, now that puts you in the same position that they're in and they don't want you in that position. So trust me, if this woman had a true secret, a true ancient secret that the establishment did not want her to share, she would have been silenced or killed. That's the way it works. So if you want to know the truth, you want more information, you're tired of being lied to, definitely visit the website. Become involved, www.thegoldenrace.org. Or go to our podcast website. We now offer exclusive content, all of our readings, our ebooks, those in depth recordings that we just couldn't share with the public are all out there now. And you can go there, www.metaphysicspodcast.com, and click on exclusive content and begin to learn more about who you are why you're here and what's going to happen within this lifetime so that you're able to deal with it as these different things are coming at you and you're not just blindly in the dark trying to please people who you can never please or have relationships with people who are just destined to fail or putting yourself in different positions where you just should not be at you know what's best for you so you can have the best possible life experience The best radio station in the world in the world is right here, right now. The Golden Race, conscious radio for the conscious community.